you know, this animal that's nigh invincible. So it turns out that a show looks. Do you know how, like, if you ever, like, chop off your leg, it just grows right back, right? I mean, who among us has not accidentally lost a leg and then just, like, it hurts, you know, you cry, and, like, the next morning, like, boop, it's back. Well, let me tell you, that was not true. They chop off body parts. They don't grow back at all. Um, but they do for axolotls. If they lose a finger, it grows back. If they grows, if they lose a hand, it grows back. If they lose an entire limb, it usually grows back. If they lose part of their heart, not the entire thing, they will die, it will grow back. If they lose part of their brain, do you think it grows back? 10 seconds, yes or no. Dang it, most of you guys got that one right. Yeah, it actually grows back. Depends on the part of the brain, which I think is really interesting, and I don't know why that is. But we have, we have doctors, we have, um, we have scientists working really hard, actually. I'm trying to figure out how axolotls do this. There's a weird way in which axolotls are, are nigh invulnerable, but because they're so, they can grow limbs back. How well do you think that they're doing in, you know, their march to conquer the world? You think they're doing really well. But it turns out if you go to the Wikipedia page for a Sholos, you find that their conservation status is critically endangered. They're not doing well at all. How do those two things go together? You know this animal that's nigh invincible? You know this animal that like, you just like try your best to kill it? You're like a pirate, say. Like slice at it and chop it off. It just keeps growing parts back, <laughs> its body back. You know how it's almost extinct? You're like, wait, what? Really? They're really amazing.